Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and I've been shopping at my local Walmart and picked up the rest of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What are these called? Micro Mutants. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Micro Mutants play sets. This is Donnie's Lab. And I have a weakness for this type of playset. It's it's a playset, as I explained when I was having a look at Mikey's uh, Mikey's playset. It, op it, it it opens up. It's a turtle. It opens up. You got a little playset. You can have your little figures in there. So uh, these were fifteen dollars. A piece. That's pretty good. What else have we got here? Leo's Dojo. We got another one. And this would be Raft's Rooftop. So, let's uh, let's check out Raft's Rooftop. Raft is a cool character. We'll have a look at uh, Leo's Dojo and Donnie's uh, playset in a different uh, in a different video. In different videos, I'll do a video for each. Already did one about Mikey's uh, skate park, and it's it's uh, fifteen dollars for this. You get uh, turtle playset. Now this one only comes with two figures. Uh, Raphael and, and that dog there. Um, Mikey's playset came with three figures, but one was a uh, a training dummy that wasn't painted. So I guess they left him out. Anyway, here's our uh, packaging for this Micro Mutants. So it looks like we have a cage. And, uh, what are we getting this? Raph's rooftop includes playset with jail trap. Raph microfigure and weapons. Dog pound microfigure. Blaster with two projectiles. Okay. So, let's check this out. Let's check this puppy out and see what's, uh, what hidden features it has and stuff. How do I, uh, how do I open this? Is this one tape down here? Is it taped up here? Okay, it's not taped up there. Scissors in there. Did we get it all. Probably our instructions that tells us what to do. Okay. And stickers. And micro mutants. And get all these. I got a big turtle playset. But right now we're looking at this one. Okay. Here's our box packaging. Let's see. 
and I open this the same way I did Mikey's it's not tied down with anything in there okay there's our turtle I'll have to adjust the camera to have a so there's our turtle's head he's happy got this thing here and you lift that up okay Got this blaster cannon here. And projectiles. And the projectile looks like a clenched fist, which is appropriate for Raph. Raphael. Boom. Boom. The muscle of the group. That's what Raphael is. The muscle. There's something underneath here. I guess I have to disturb this to get this out. Ramp. Anything else? Uh, the cage. Behind this part. The cage to trap the bad guy. Okay, is that everything? Looks like it. What do we got here? This uh, does this connect someplace? We got our cage. Okay. Looks like this moves. Let's have a look at our instructions. Oh. You know, let, let's let's have a look at our little minifigures. Let's have a look at. Uh, let's do these guys first. get my finger in there and smush them out. have a close-up look at these guys so his legs can move and his arms move together let's grab his size okay taped in there A 
weapon. There's his other weapon. And that is everything. have a look at our uh, minifigures up close. Here is Dog Pound, the bad guy. Is that his name? Yeah, I think so. Dog Pound. And his, his arms can... There's quite a bit of resistance on that. And his legs can... so he can sit down. some detail on him. He looks mean. Rawr. And here is Raphael. Raphael. His uh his mouth isn't painted in. Should be should be white. little size. I'll just let's see. Is he grabbing it all the way? It's such a little thing. could have one pointed downward. That's what I like to do with Raph. There. He's stabbing with one and slashing with the other. There is Raphael. So, let's have a look at our, uh, oh, we got this piece here. Let's have a look at our, uh, see what we have to do here. Open back shell to a 90 degree position. Lower back shell stand to support. Attach stickers as shown. Well, uh, as shown, huh? Well, uh, I'll I'll figure it out somehow. Uh, let's see. So we got so it all closes like like this. There's our turtle. I'd go up any further and then you open it up I got it closed now I can't oh there we go and then you open this up to support the back although it doesn't really need it perfectly fine without it. Then you can push this out. Let's see. Do it right. It seem to be doesn't seem to be right. Let's see. The 
Does this other part come out? Well, we'll cross that bridge later. Alright, what do we do here? Secure figure in lookout tower using the pegs and slide door open and close. Okay. So we can put put them on there. Using the little holes in his feet. What else we got? Insert pole into base and place rope in the end hook. Okay. Insert hook into the top of the cage, pull rope to lift and lower. Okay. So this, which is already partially assembled for us, goes goes into this area here. Does it can it turn? Well, that's how it goes. You pull the whole thing out. The cage. Wham! That villain is captured. Okay. Any stickers go in this area? I don't know. Swing out platform and secure cannon and figure to base. Platform that comes out. This one here. And you got your projectile. Fold down side letters. Fold ramp down. Okay, and it's got a three on it, so you put a sticker on there. Okay. Um, which way does it go? With like this. And then it goes like that for storage. Yeah. Alright. Extract rear tunnel system to connect to other pet turtle. Yeah, this, this comes out of here somehow. Maybe that's as far as it goes on this one. Secure cannon onto base. Yeah, it came that way. Pull lever back and release to fire projectile. 
Do not fire at people, animals, or eyes or face. Do not use any projectiles other than those provided with this toy. Okay. So I put it in there. It's a manually operated. Does this go up and down? This goes up and down. So you can aim. You gotta push it in there, hold this back, and then push it in there like that. it in there all the way hold on to the trigger and boom and I like this that's a fist that's so appropriate for Raph that's cool all right we'll just put this back on here there's the base what else Place either a figure or the cannon on the center. Turn the three pegged dial to activate all turning battle platforms. Place figures on battle stands and turn three pegged dial back and forth to battle. Okay, so you can do it that way or. And place someone in the middle. How, do, how does it turn? Okay. It's battle time at Raps Rooftop. up his weapons. I'll put this guy here. Or maybe he goes over here. Lift up your hands like you're fighting. There. Let's get a close up of this. Do it this way so my hand's not in the way too much. Now it's yeah, do it like that. Boom! Bow. They're fighting each other. Bow, bow. Raph can't seem to hit him. He can't seem to Dog Pond's winning this fight. Boom, boom. Raph is getting the crap beat out of him. Oh no. Well, we just need to take Dog Pound and put him over here. Then we'll see who wins. Put him over there. Boom. Oh, now dog pound. Oh, he's hitting him. Come on, Raph, fight back. I should do it like this. There. It's a pitched duel. A pitched battle. Who will win? Oh, of course Raph has to win. He's the good guy. Turtle power. Okay, enough fun with that. Is that everything? Where do our stickers go? Alright, I see something. There's a sticker that goes in here.
The other one, Mikey's skate part, came with the stickers already on it. I guess they're cutting corners here. I'll show this up close just in case anyone's not sure where these stickers go. And I hope I get it right. It seems like it fits there. I hope I get it lined up correctly. Let's, let's get this sticker lined up correctly. It, it goes around this circle thing here. Let's uh, get that sticker on there. What's this? Does this open up? Let's see. There's no mention of it. I'm not sure what it is. And this little thing opens up. That's kind of cool. Oh, and I forgot to put these down. Put down the ladders. I've been doing it wrong. Do they move? They move like that, too. That's pretty cool. So you can have them like this. Ladders leading... Uh, to the tunnel so there's a couple ways to defeat the bad guy in this set here a bit more versatile than Mikey skate park you can put the guy there you could probably you might be able to put raft there you can also put him back there on those uh, on the posts there and have them so you can have a big battle taking place if you add more ninja turtles and bad guys to your uh, your playset here oh and I got this ramp here and obviously that would be a really big sticker So we'll get this sticker. Let's see. Yeah, that's how it goes. The uh, the edge is is cut off. Let's let's take this off. It'd be easier to show. The edge is cut off, so it fits right in here right because that edge is doesn't need to be cut off there's our sticker that goes on the ramp there Looks kind of Star Wars-y. Looks like it belongs in a Star Wars playset. Pretty cool. I like to make ex extra sure that it's, it's stuck down on there, so it doesn't start to so it doesn't start to peel off while I'm playing with it. Okay. Can I get this back on there? And a sticker that says caution. Now where does that go? Um, oh, oh wait, it goes here. In the back. be facing like this to get him in the shot there be facing like this or like this since it's going to be facing inward I 
I'll just do it like that. Probably got it facing the wrong way because it'll be upside down when you face it and you put it up. Put this back in there. I probably did it wrong because it'll be upside down. But right side up when you're when you like that. Anyway, that's that's, that's all of our stickers there. And we can drop the cage onto the, the bad guy. Oh no, I dropped it onto Raf. That's Raf. You got captured by your own trap. That's no good. Move off to the side there. So how do we uh, close everything up? Is there a compartment we can put these guys in? There's Raf. This will be a challenge. Let's close these up. And this closes up. And this plug in here and there and this closes up like this don't have much room for things to be there we're going to put his uh, and this there's not much room for things to be there it'll have to be like in here I like it when I can fit everything in there and close it all up. Nice and neat, except that's not happening this time. Maybe. Based on what I'm seeing at the back, there's no room for anything to be anywhere in the back part. Well, I'm going to work on this and I'll be right back. Well, I cannot fit everything in there. I cannot fit this in there. The cannon. I tried fitting it in the back here in this hole and uh, it does not want to oh there we go how did I do that okay well that fits but but there's no way this can fit our cage and the cage's arm and if I can get it back open there. So we can fit this down in there. We can fit these with the uh, like that. And then you pile your two guys like kind of like this so they fit into this opening in the front there. And there. 
but there is no way to fit this stuff in there. Is there an opening on the bottom? No. Anyway, kind of disappointing because I can't fit everything in there. We got extra stuff that's going to be sitting out. I like it when I can fit everything into the playset because I think that's the purpose of having it fold down and <coughs> excuse me I think that's the purpose of having it fold down and nice and neat into a you know into a turtle like this is to have everything fit in there nice and neat so it's kind of disappointing in that respect but it's fun in other respects so that is a look at Raps Rooftop. Raps Rooftop Micro Mutants. Thank you for watching.